next time, ladies and gentlemen, what is more efficient, a straight pipe where the air just goes straight through or a straight through muffler? Look at that. That doesn't seem like it would be that much more efficient, but if I was a betting man, which I am, I'm gonna say that Magnifo might have figured this out. Let's see. Let's do a real world, real world test, starting so with. We're gonna go ahead and fire up the flow bench here. We're set up at like 25 inches of pressure. We're gonna flow about 1,000 CFM through it and see what comes out the pipe and compare it from the different devices that we see here. And, and this is the name of the game. Here's a number where we'll see the total CFM. 650 looks like our number, roughly. Yeah. Go ahead and pull that one out. And let's put this one on. You're seeing about 35 more CFM on a muffler. And actually, if you listen to the difference, pay attention to the sound level. Pull this off again. Not disruptive airflow. It's not gonna, even though we have that perforation inside, it's not causing the air to get disrupted. It's still causing that column to pass through, which is why we're getting more CFM for airflow. You're getting about 10% more, like eight to eight to 10. And well, then... it's about it's about 5%. We were looking at 600 and, uh, 650 uh, before, and we were seeing about uh, 685, so about 40 yeah. more CFM. That's great. And then this so one. So I wanted to kind of throw you through a loop through this one. If you take a close look at the inside, oh. we've put a little disruptor in this one. So. This Cheater. Is, well, what I wanted to show and illustrate <laughs> is that the air column being straight through is very important. Yeah. Um, and when you disrupt it, like with a chamber, a baffle, that small amount, and you can see how much that affected even which yeah. this, people would say that this looks like it should be a high flow muffler because of the small body on the outside. Yet, that muffler that we have there, which is the true straight core, you're gonna notice actually creates more CFM airflow. It's a bigger muffler but actually performs better at supporting more CFM. So you could see right through there, straight pass through, I don't know if you could see that, versus this has a little tiny disruption in there, and this was getting around 630. Yep, just a bit under the straight pipe. Straight pipe, 650, this pushing 688, 690, yeah. give or take, which is impressive. That's crazy. Yeah. Now why? <laughs> Well, it all has to do with the air column. So here we have frictional resistance. As the air is traveling up this, this is 100% of the material on the side. Uh, as that air comes up, it creates restriction, slows down the air column in the middle, travels down the middle faster. And what's going to happen is the air is going to start to curdle on the outside and create resistance at, on the side walls. That physical resistance is reduced by the fact that that has perforation. The perforation core, uh, it removes about 37% of the surface area. So there's 37% less metal for it to contact. And it's almost creating like a little force field around it. Well, so think golf home. ball. Why yeah. are golf balls dented on the outside? It's the way that it allows air to move over air is less disruptive. If you were to take that golf ball, like a ping pong ball, yeah. it's smooth. It actually catches the air and wants to move with everything. Uh, the golf ball, on the other hand, is free to move and rotate and continue in the direction created. And it's very similar to the perforation. I like ball. my force field metaphor better, but <laughs> I'll take golf ball metaphor from the scientist, from the engineer. That is awesome. So really cool demonstration. loud doesn't always mean uh, that it's better flowing. And that's one of the critical parts of our doing these uh, kind of tests is to determine how we can maintain that performance yeah. for that vehicle and keep it street friendly. So that's the key is you obviously want a good sound that's not super annoying, mm -hmm. nice rumble without that vibration, but then also better efficiency, more airflow that doesn't disrupt your EVAP center, sensors and other sensors that your engine is like, what's going on? All this airflow is going yeah. out. I'm not getting the correct fuel mixture. That's where Magnaflow comes in. This is awesome, Rich. Thank you. You got it.